At the time, it was just a promo for a match. But now, Bray Wyatt's final post to Instagram has a whole new and much sadder context. The world of professional wrestling is full of tragic tales and lives cut short. Stars that shone brightly and burned out too soon. On Thursday, August 24th, 2023, fans learned of another sad and shocking death when WWE's chief content officer, Paul Triple H Levesque, announced the passing of Bray Wyatt, real name Wyndham Rotunda, at the age of just 36. Rotunda's death at such a young age is nothing short of shocking. Recent reports had even suggested that fans may soon see Bray Wyatt back on WWE programming. An August 10th story posted to Fightful Select noted that Rotunda was nearing a return from an undisclosed illness, one which had threatened both his career and his life itself. The man behind the Bray Wyatt character had seemingly overcome his illness, or at the very least was able to manage it, given the reports that he was getting ever closer to being medically cleared to perform. Clearly, things took a turn for the worse. Soon after news of Rotunda's death broke, tributes from fellow wrestlers and others within the industry began pouring in over social media, with friends and contemporaries sharing their grief. Matt Hardy said he's absolutely shattered to lose his friend. Ric Flair said he was reflecting on life after the death of Rotunda, who was roughly the same age as his son Reed, who also died, and the death of another friend, Terry Funk, the day prior. Kim Piper Benson, who performs as Piper Niven, said she didn't know Rotunda personally, but that the Bray Wyatt character was an inspiration for the misfits and outcasts of this world like herself. Bray Wyatt's final match came in January 2023 at the Royal Rumble. He faced rising star LA Knight in the Mountain Dew Pitch Black match. Inside a darkened Alamo Dome in San Antonio, Texas, Wyatt and Knight clashed while wearing black light-sensitive ring gear to match the theme of their tilt. The eerie and ominous Wyatt handily won the sponsored bout. The day prior, however, Rotunda shared a co-branded ad on Instagram promoting the upcoming match. The caption of which has since taken on a new and tragic meaning. Enjoy the light while it lasts. The dark is calling for you. On its face, the line is pretty much par for the course for Bray Wyatt, given the character's penchant for dark and poetic musings. It fit the theme of the match and the branding partnership, but now that Rotunda has died at such a young age, this musing now reads as a meditation on mortality and a cruelly ironic reminder of how many have died young in the industry of professional wrestling. At the Royal Rumble 2023 press conference, Rotunda Tunda discussed his match, his approach to wrestling, and his feelings about it. His thoughts were definitely in line with the idea of enjoying the light. He spoke about taking risks in the role of Bray Wyatt, sentiments that echo the cryptic message of his final Instagram post rather poetically. There's some people that, that like new concepts and, and people that take risks and things, and then there's people that don't just because they don't. He then went on to muse about the professional wrestling industry he loved. It's a sport to some and a show to others, but I think the beautiful thing about wrestling, this industry, is that there's something for everyone, and I've always kind of prided myself on the fact that I've been willing to take risks and do things that no one's ever done. Because, in my opinion, if you're not willing to do that, what are you doing here? Rotunda further explained his approach to performing, saying, It's about kind of leaving a legacy for me, and... I would do pretty much anything, especially if no one's ever done it before, because I know that people will notice it. It's clear that his approach to his vocation was indeed to enjoy the light while it lasted, and there can be no doubt that WWE fans did indeed notice. Even at such a young age, Wyndham Rotunda definitely left a legacy.